folks, welcome to day two of Contemporary Thon. Um, it is like 11.30 in the morning, but I had some adulting to do, which I still kind of have to do. I'm like definitely waiting for a phone call back and I'm having the panics about it. Yeah, so last night stayed up a little bit, read about 180 pages of Little in Line. So that is what I want to finish like this afternoon, basically. Once I get this fucking phone call back, I am going to like shower and wash my hair <laughs> and like just get ready for a possible evening of fun. I don't know how exciting today is going to be either, to be totally honest. Right now though, I am going to watch Chelsea's video. I'm going to eat something because I need to eat something. I'm going to wait for the phone to fucking ring. I'm going to respond to comments too. That's what I'm going to do. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is now 1.51 a little later in the day than I wanted to like get started but I showered I have yet to eat breakfast or lunch so I should probably do that but I am going to go check the mail and my hair is wet so it will likely freeze into icicles so that's fun and I'm going to probably read for a little bit for the first time today um, try to finish little in line put some makeup on Jeff and I have kind of a fun thing to do later basically for Christmas Jeff's dad got me this like really nice necklace but I can't wear necklaces because it feels like I'm choking to death so we've been in the process literally for like six weeks since Christmas um, with the jeweler to get a ring made like kind of like a exchange sort of deal um but for those of you who've never dealt with jewelers before they're flaky as fuck so it's been a process to try to get this fucking ring and so we managed to get it and so it's kind of like a swapping returning a christmas gift to get a valentine's day gift <laughs> does that make any sense so we're hoping to actually go pick that up later today and then there's also like a difference store credit so your girl might just walk away with a bunch of jewelry today i'm not a jewelry person like i have you know stupid stretched ears I did when I was 14 and hate them but um so I can't really wear earrings I can't wear necklaces because it feels like I'm dying so I'm pretty much stuck to rings and then even then I only wear my wedding ring so your girl doesn't like jewelry okay oh and then bracelets like fucking irritate me when I go to type <sighs> it's come complicated okay so yeah I'm a bit complicated when it comes to that stuff but I'm hoping at the very least to go get my ring today and then we might go get like a Valentine's Day crepe together. Oh, cute. And then hopefully maybe actually read some books today. All right, let's go check the mail. So yeah, it's cold and my hair is freezing. So I'm gonna quickly go to the mailbox and come back. <laughs> okay, some salt needs to actually go down here because this is like actually a death trap. Jeffrey. I have mail, but not exciting mail. And my hair is like kind of crunchy, but not totally icicles. So that's good. Bulk barn coupons, might actually use those. Trash. Buying or selling a home, would you like this fridge notepad? Nope. Ikea, would you like to switch cell phone providers? Nope. And would you like this pack of coupons? Possibly. Oh boy, home ownership is so exciting. You get nothing but like local coupons. And it's like, I live in a house. Why are you trying to get me to buy other houses? You think of coupons? Thai Express, <laughs> we'll use that. What else do we got here? Would you like to buy a roof? Would you like your ducts cleaned? Would you like quality windows? Want new glasses? Would you like a large pepperoni pizza? Kind of. So out of that, I will take the Thai Express coupon. I will look at Ikea, and I will accept this Bok Barn coupon. And the rest of it is going in the trash. All right, that's uh, mail time with Natasha. <laughs> Very exciting. I'll grab a bowl of cereal and actually read today. Yep. Put some makeup on, finally. Hair's still drying. You'll see it takes about like uh, seven hours for my hair to dry. But now I'm going to finally read a little bit. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Haven't read like at all today. Update you guys, I did get the phone call that I was anxiously waiting on and I now have a date and time to proceed with adulting. Um, so my anxiety can chill the fuck out until like next week, <laughs> which is great. I know it sounds bad, but uh, I really don't have like anything adult-wise to do 
until next week after the readathon. So <laughs> I'm just gonna read my fucking ass off and stay up late and like shamelessly just like live my life. You know, I'm kind of happy about it. Quickly read Little in Line. I'm gonna try to finish it or read as many pages as possible in the next half hour or so. And then Jeff and I are going to go get my ring situation taken care of. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna sit in the bathtub and read my ass off all fucking night. So yeah, I don't have a bra on, but you know. This shirt has a bunch of different junk food on it. So it says like chocolate, I don't know what the fuck else it says. Chocolate, french fries, hot dogs, ice cream. Because, you know, that's my life. <laughs> also, in this closet of secrets, we have my bouquet, which has been dried and hanging there for like four months. I don't know what the fuck to do with this. Like, I want to get a terrarium and put it standing up, because um, it's all tied together and everything still like roses and whatnot, but like I need to find a terrarium that's that large. Like here's my hand in comparison, it's really big and I've been trying to find something to put it in, but you know, it might just stay in my closet forever. <laughs> need to find, or like a big shadow box or something. I don't know, I don't know. We're on a bumpy winter road. Um, but yeah, got some makeup on, hair's drying. Got Jeffy with me. He's not feeling too great today, so we might cancel crepes. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. But we are going to get my ring. This damn jewelry exchanged. Gotta love readathons where uh, the hosts don't read. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chelsea's kicking ass though, so um, props to her. You've been reading? I've been reading, yeah, I have you been reading. like two books in the last two days, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, no, I just, I, yeah, I just feel like I haven't read today, <laughs> which is fine. I can probably pick it up tonight, but uh, yeah, off to do. Only 3.30, so I've got lots of time. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I just got out of the jewelry store and we lucked out because they did actually like refund us <laughs> some cash. So Natasha has some extra book money. But this is the little ring that I got. It's just a simple like rose gold not ring but it's like a ring that i've wanted for i, I don't know how many years jeff like mm. five years usually yeah. something like that um very very thin you can like almost not feel it but it just that's the kind of ring that i like <laughs> can almost not feel it <laughs> you're the worst the little ring that i want got some uh return money which we didn't it's a jewelry store so typically they don't return stuff so it's like we kind of like lucked out and now i have some like extra money which well is i like, know the owners yeah but it's just like nice typically what yeah typically when you get jewelry they like no refunds and kind of have to use store credit but mm. kind of lucked out this case so now i have christmas money technically i guess which is nice so i'll take it so i don't i don't know where we're going or what to do I'm so allergic to this, and all I want to do is eat this. Mm. Mm. Candy, wow. We got the restaurant to herself, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so we're scrapping our go for crepes, but we're going for our diner well, breakfast. Well, you've had crepes at Cafe Crystal before, but you confessed to me that you have never been to Rock and Johnny's. I have so not been to Rock and Johnny's. We had to take you to Rock and Johnny's. That was just. <laughs> We had to I'm not resolve lie, I this want issue. This. There's nothing better though than coming to like early dinner and having it just be empty for the most part. Yeah. That's what I love about diners. Right? There's half a car over here. This is fucking amazing. Get some diner food. Some steak and eggs. Yep. Yep. Steak and eggs. Pancakes and Boy stuff. Fixed. Thanks very much. Looks great. It's one of those days, guys. <laughs> so I'm back from eating food from a diner and getting my little ring. And um, I just checked some comments for the video and if there's one thing that you guys like in my videos, it's my pussy. So I decided to show you guys more of my pussy. Just give you primo pussy action. Maybe stroke my pussy a little bit. Play with it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff
jokes aside, I am about to get in the bathtub again, like live in my bathtub. So <laughs> I've read all of like 50 pages of um, Little in Line. This is Little in Line. And um, yeah, so I wanna finish that today. That's my goal. I wanna finish this and then I wanna read at least half of something else tonight. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I think I'm going to get in the tub. I'm gonna finish Little in Line. Then I wanna read at least a couple of short stories of difficult women. And then I think I'm going to try to speed through If You Dare, because these ones went really quickly. This is the third book in the Deanna Madden series. And so I know these characters. I can like, I think quickly read this. Um, so that's my plan. So it is now, what did I say it was? Almost seven o'clock. I'm gonna spend probably three hours until like 10. 10:30 in the bathtub and then I'm going to um I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna edit this vlog basically all right guys so I'm going to end the vlog here it is I think like 11 o'clock but Jeff needs to go to bed so I'm going to uh, go quietly edit this video I finished little in line and it was amazing five to five can't wait to actually talk about this a little, a little bit more um it was so 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 good and I actually liked it more than I thought I would, so that's awesome. Um, then I started Difficult Women. I just finished the first story and gave it a five, but it is very hard to read. And I read the first one and just kind of needed to like take a break from that. I think this is going to be like a reading bits and pieces throughout the week because the first story kind of like is a lot. <laughs> then I started If You Dare, um, more Deanna Madden. I am, let me see, 72 pages into that right now, and that's probably what I'm going to continue to read when I go to bed. But um, yeah, that's where I am for the day. Finished this, started to, but had a day where I was like out of the house and did a bunch of adult stuff, so I didn't read the most, but I read some. I'm going to go edit this vlog. Hopefully you guys have a good day two contemporary thon and i will see you guys tomorrow bye